Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a simple glowing text effect in Illustrator. As always in these video tutorials, let's have a look and see what it is that we're seeking to achieve. I've created these lighting effects in another video tutorial and I created the neon sign effects in another one. And in this video tutorial, we're going to have a look at creating just this text. What it is is some red filled text, but it's got a glow that's giving it a sort of multicolored look and it's all done without gradient fills, just with some effects. So I'm going to turn my text layer off and let's just turn my shapes back on and I'm going to create that text effect. So I'm targeting the text tool. I'm just going to click and I'm going to type the word neon. Now I'm going to resize my text. I want it to be quite large, but let's go and find the font that we're using. And this is the font that I chose to use. So I'm going to just increase the font size yet again, just to make it big enough for us to see the effect that we're creating. Let's just drag the font into position and let's go and set its fill color. I have the fill color selected here and I'm going to choose this sort of bright red color. Actually, I think I want this one. And I don't want any stroke at all right now. Now the effect that you saw was created using a glow. It's an inner glow. So with my type selected here, I'm going to choose Effect and then Stylize and Inner Glow. Now the inner glow I'm going to use, I'm going to create it with a slight yellow. So I want to go and target a yellow. And I have some yellows in my swatches here. So I'm thinking that the one that goes with the reds that's in that same palette, this one here will be a good glow to use. So I'll click OK. I'm going to click to preview this and you can see that the inner glow in screen blend mode is really affecting this text. It's obviously way too much. I do want it on the edge and not the center. You can see what the center effect would be is it's glowing around the center of the text. In fact, I do want the lightning in the edges, but it's just way too much of a lightning right now. So I'm just going to decrease the blur and just adjust up the opacity because I want this to be quite affecting the text. So I want it to be quite heavy, not very see-through and perhaps drop the blur down to just two points. And that is all the effect that we're creating. It's not done using a gradient. It's just done using an inner glow on the text and that creates this really nice little effect for our text. And to see the final product, we're just going to add back in the elements for this shape. I've got a shadow and then the lighting effects that we created in an earlier tutorial. Just going to bring my neon text below those lighting effects so that these little stars are actually just highlighting it. Now I've probably got a few too many stars, so let's just go and find out where they are and maybe just disable one or two of them so that we're not drowning out our text entirely. And maybe just move this one here back into position. I think it's, well, there it is there. And maybe just resize it to suit. So that's the last of the three tutorials that I have built up to show you how to create not only this neon sign, but also the lighting and highlighting effects. And then the text that has this glow effect all created in Illustrator using the appearance panels and some of the effects that are built in to Illustrator. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more tutorials here on my YouTube channel and visit my website at projectwoman.com for more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.